بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سلام عليكم My name is Professor Dr. Ashraf Muhammad Abdel Malik Professor Dr. of Meat Hygiene Department of Food Hygiene Asyut University Egypt I am here for presenting a poster presentation in the fourth Asian conference on science technology and the medicine ESCTM 2021 title of this poster presentation Detection of virulence genes in salmonellae isolated from ready to eat and ready to cook chicken products by using multiplex PCR. Carried out by Ashraf Abdel Malik, Department of Food Hygiene, Meat Hygiene, Faculty of Veterinary Medicine, Asyut University, Asyut, Egypt and the Hadil Parakat Food Inspection Unit, Asyut University. Introduction Salmonella had been recognized as a major and important foodborne pathogen for humans and animals over more than a century, causing human foodborne illness as well as high medical and economical costs. The ability of Salmonella species to cause a disease largely relies on a repertoire of elaborate virulence determinants. Salmonella cirovars have been attributed to the variable acquisition and evolvement of virulence genes. Objectives the aim of this study was to evaluate of the potential virulence of salmonella isolated from some of the examined ready-to-eat and ready-to-cook chicken products by detecting the presence of the invasion A, imperial H, and the hyperinvasive locus A virulence genes using the multiplex PCR. Material The demonstration of virulence factors including invasion A, hyperinvasive locus A, and the imperial H genes of the isolated Salmonella species was carried out using the primers in the table 1. Method Number one, collection and the preparation of samples. A total of 150 random samples of ready-to-eat chicken meat and ready-to-cook chicken products were collected from different restaurants and supermarkets representing from different companies in Asiot City. The obtained samples included Ready to eat grilled chicken thigh, ready to eat grilled chicken breast, ready to cook frozen chicken nuggets, ready to cook frozen chicken strips, and ready to cook frozen chicken wings. 34 each. Grilled chicken breast and the grilled chicken thigh samples were firstly freed from packages cut by using a trial knife into small parts, then homogenized with each specific enrichment process for bacteriological examination. Number two, isolation of sal salmonella species according to ISO number 6579 in 2002 which include non-selective enrichment by taking a 25 gram in the examined chicken samples in 225 ml of buffered peptone water at 37 
degree Celsius for 24 hour then selective enrichment in RVS plus at 42 degree Celsius for 24 hour then streaking on nutrient agar slope and finally biochemical conformation of the salmonella species after that confirmed by multiplex polymerase chain reaction which over a more rapid detection as compared to simple polymerase chain reaction through the amplification of multiple gene targets by extraction of DNA then DNA amplification for the selected virulence genes results of this study this figure demonstrating agarose gel electrophoresis of multiple PCR of invasion A at 284 base pair hyper invasive locus at 497 base pair and the five imperial H gene at 1084 characterization of salmonella species. Their lane M including a molecular size DNA ladder marker lane C plus control positive strain lane C minus control negative and the lanes 1 2 and 3 showing positive salmonella enteritis for invasion A and Lane 1, 2, and 3 representing positive Salmonella enteritis for invasion A, hyper invasive locus A, and the imperial H genes. Lane 1, 2, and 3 representing positive Salmonella enteritis for invasion A. A hyper invasive locus A and the imperial H genes. Lane 4 showing a positive Salmonella enteritis for invasion A and the hyper invasive locus A. Lanes 5 and 6 showing a positive Salmonella typhimurium for invasion A, a hyper invasive locus A and the five imperial H genes. Lane 7 showing positive Salmonella infantis for invasion A and the hyper invasive locus A. Lane 8 showing positive Salmonella infantis for invasion A and the five imperial H genes. While lanes 9 10 and 11 showing positive Salmonella Kentucky for invasion A, hyper invasive locus and the five imperial genes. While lane 12 representing positive Salmonella Versho for invasion A, hyper invasive locus A and the five imperial H genes. Finally, lane 13 showing positive salmonella tamale for invasion A and the hyper invasive locus A gene. And also table 2 represent the presence of virulence genes among salmonella isolated according to serotypes Salmonella enteritis, Salmonella typhimurium, Salmonella infantis, Salmonella Kentucky, Salmonella Versho, Salmonella Tamali. Discussion From data shown in Table 2, 
and figure two it was observed that all salmonella isolates were positive for the invasion a gene with 100 percentage this was in agreement with other researchers who reported that invasion a gene was present in 100 percentage of salmonella isolates from chicken samples also the scientists who were it l 2011 emphasized that all salmonella isolates were positive for the presence of the invasion gene which was responsible for invasion of cells and have the capability to invade and survive in macrophages and thus causing the disease salmonellosis in human presence of the hyper invasive locus a gene was in 92.30 percent from the isolates the results obtained in the present study or in accordance with other researches with percentage of 76.92 percent that indicating the ability of salmonella to colonize the intestinal wall on con conclusion in the present study multiple xbcr showed higher sensitivity specificity and rapid identification for salmonella species in addition, the invasion A gene, the hyperinvasive locus A gene, and the five imperial H genes could be considered the target genes for the detection of this pathogen. Poultry products were contaminated with pathogenic salmonella, and all salmonella isolates of the study are positive for the presence of virulence gene that responsible for cell invasion. Thus, poultry product is considered an important source of high-risk serotypes of salmonella for humans. Subsequently, hygienic measures should be undertaken to reduce contamination of poultry products with virulent strains of salmonella that is of public health significance. Thank you very much.